previous game, we were playing Metal Gear Solid 5 mood, and then a little nice uh, open shit and clank. So we're gonna get started right. But um, I was just trying to go back and get some trophies and stuff. <coughs> but I've been having a pretty good day, guys. Just been hanging out, worked this morning, and p.m. Central Time, um, which is a little surprising. The day has flown by. Um, so we're gonna get started going right about now. So what we're doing is we're gonna go back to the ship And once we get to the ship, we're gonna travel to a different planet. You'll see what I'm talking about here So we're gonna take the train <laughs> That's one of the great things about this game is that the humor it just it's a light-hearted game the soundtracks cool The graphics are really neat. It's a fun game Way, way different atmosphere than uh, Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear Solid is so serious. There's a few jokes thrown in there, but this game is just absolutely phenomenal uh, when it comes to, you know, entertainment value. Which planet should we go to? Hmm. I guess we must go to Nebula Planet G34. Okay, so our objective. I usually, usually when I'm playing um, the games, I'm gonna give you a little uh, insight on what I'm doing. I'm usually lying on my bed, um, not not on my stomach or anything. I'm lying on my back, um, which my back kind of is messing with me today. So I'm gonna stand up. Um, I'm usually when I'm laying down, I'm maybe about oh five feet from the TV or something like that, but. Um, Right now, what I'm 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 about maybe two feet from the television, standing. So, hopefully, this gets my back feeling a little bit better. So, let's get started. We're gonna go to Nebula G34, and we're just gonna play through it that way. So, let's get it started here. Let me get a drink of water here. So, if you guys um, noticed, we've been uploading quite a bit on Gary Swan lately. We've been doing this new broadcast. And, uh, <laughs> we have a new car cast out. You guys are probably familiar with the car cast. It's live from his car. <laughs> like the theme song, which is a great theme song. I are in position and ready to commence Operation Falling Star. Okay. Wow, look at those graphics. I'll monitor your position from here. So I'm not too um sure if you guys agree or not, but I love these um character games um, for example in the N64 had like Banjo Kazooie uh, the GameCube had games such as that uh, oh what was it you're rolling around a ball Billy Hatcher this game is just a trademark Sony character and I think that is really um, what Sony was going for this guy and then from Nathan Drake from the Uncharted series definitely so well, before we get started, let's check out the Gadgetron vendor, just to see... That's probably my favorite character, he's got a voice like this. Alright, so what do we got here? I don't have, um, see much money I have. I've got 3,552 screws. Okay, we'll go ahead and upgrade our weapons. The newest thing I got is the Pixelator, which I'll show you guys here. Uh, in a little bit what the pixelator will pixelizer sorry not the pixelator I'm so sorry uh, Max Lahoda Zach Max oh hey what's up buddy um, what we're doing is we're, we're playing a little bit of Ratchet and Clank um, and if you guys just let me know if you have any tips or tricks on this game if you remember this game on the PlayStation 2 uh, or just anything like that you just let us know in the comment section below and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely let you guys know about that one there for you. Okay, so we'll get that taken care of for you. So whenever you understand something, just leave in the comment section. Okay, so the pixelizer. Um, are you sure you want to spend rare titanium to upgrade this weapon? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> so, oh, thanks, man. Appreciate it, Max. Lohada, Lohada. Okay, so now that we uh, have gotten better weapons, let's just get started right away, guys. So we're gonna walk down here. 
Perhaps the trespasser will be useful here. Maybe we can use the trespasser. Okay. Oh, this is. Oh no. I'm not good at this stuff, guys. These are puzzles. Laser beams are blocked by other lasers and by blockers. Okay. Blockers don't do anything besides make sure they do not block ports. If you guys, like I said, if you guys, if you don't mind, um, get on Google or get on YouTube real quick. Look up how to do this and let me know what the video says. Um, you know, kind of make it brief though because I do have to read the comments. Um, so if you guys have any tips or tricks, make it brief in the comment section. That way I could get a better understanding of how this stuff works. So if you don't mind. If you ever need more help or refresh, you remember. Okay. Okay, so. Let me turn that one. Oh. So pretty much you can't. Okay, so. You, they can't cross each other. That's what I'm gonna have to do. I don't really understand. I'll let's just let's skip. Yeah, we'll we'll come back to that one. I don't, really, <laughs> I don't really feel like doing that right now, so I'm not gonna do it right now. Unless I might have to though. Board warship. Okay, let's check this out. We gotta get to some action real quick. According to my database, we are headed to. A well, according to my my database. Well, I'll give him this. He stays busy. Oh. So the new broadcasting, um, we're going to be doing this as much as we can, guys, uh, pretty much uh, just whenever we find a time. You know, we're pretty busy guys here at Gary Swan. Um, Gary has us doing lots of things daily. We have daily tasks that we have to do. So first I have to search the Blarg ship, which is where I am now. So let's go ahead and search it. Oh. Got a bad guy here. Jump up here. There you go, fat motherfucker. <laughs> Do that there. Oh, oh no. Just there. So this game is a lot different. It's it's paced differently than uh, Metal Gear Solid, if you notice. Metal Gear Solid, really stealthy game, real serious action game. This game, you're just jumping around blowing crap up. <laughs> you like blowing crap up. You like running around doing stuff you're gonna love this game guys okay, let me, let me get the... where's the pixelator hang on we need the pixelator check this out guys this is the pixelator this is one of my favorite weapons I just unlocked it recently let's check this out watch this why did the war bots get all the good weapons? Let's see if I can sneak up. Supposedly the duck. Oh, sorry, look at that. It pixelates them. <laughs> That's just so cool. So we did that. Very fun. Okay. So it looks like we're about to get a new weapon, guys. The Predator Launcher. Alright. Oh, no. oh god. We need to run. I've only got 36 seconds to get out of here, guys. R2 to lock on. This isn't the new weapon. We're trying it out as we speak. Oh, that is just... That's just badass. Look at that. Wow, you can lock... You can lock on to your targets. Oh, this is like that one... Uh, Call of Duty. Uh, the one Call of Duty on the Activision released. I'm gonna die. I'm, I'm gonna die. Fuck you. I'm dead. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, damn it. God, man, I... I don't know what I did wrong, guys. I... Oh, that's so... F that's frustrating. <laughs> Rage quit. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna try it again. The cool thing about this game is the restarts. They're very forgiving with the restarts on this game. So definitely like that aspect of Ratchet and Clank. The most platformers like this are going to be very forgiving. Uh, unless you're playing something maybe like Mario 64 or maybe like, um, what's another one? Maybe like Banjo-Kazooie or something like that. When you're playing those kind of games, that's when things start to get a little different. Their story is going to be written a little differently. It's not going to be a fiction story anymore. It's probably going to be a little bit more of a um, maybe fantasy kind of story. So I don't know. 
Have a nice day. I don't. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm I'm getting. Please, if you don't mind, um, somebody that's watching this, please get on uh, Google. Google search how to get past the Blarg ship self-destruct sequence. I can't seem to get past Blarg ship on Nebula G34, so if you could just Google that and leave the response in the comment section, that way I can get a good grip on what I'm supposed to be doing and exactly where I'm supposed to be going in this particular mission. Thanks. Uh, 20 seconds. So we're getting a little bit closer. Uh, the only thing is I'm not really too sure on where I'm supposed to go. Uh, okay. Okay, we made it. Never mind. Never mind. Don't give me the tips. I don't need the tips anymore. I don't need the tips anymore. I beat the Blark ship. <laughs> this reminds me of Looney Tunes. You know what? It kind of does. Hmm. Perhaps the trespasser will be useful here. Okay. Hmm. Uh, we got a little distracted. We're on it. At least I got a new weapon, huh? Should we try the trespasser again? Guys, I'm gonna stand right here. Um, if you don't mind, just respond to this. It, should I try the trespasser? And if I do, should I do it manually on my own? Or should I use the auto hack? Which, if I use the auto hack, I'll lose points in the, throughout the game. Or I could just Google it. What do you guys think? This is good voting music right here. If you would, just turn up the, the volume on your... If you're what, listening on a phone, turn up the volume on your telephone. And if you are on a computer mod, just turn up the computer monitor volume. And you'll be able to... Um, it's a good voting music, so if you could just vote if I should solve this with Google. Should I Google the auto hack on Nebula G64? Or should I try to figure it out for myself? Or should I use auto hack? Auto hack? So, if you don't mind, turn up the volume. Just listen to the music real quick. I'm going to give you 30 seconds. Should I use auto hack to solve the puzzle? Should I use Google? Or should I use. Alright, guys, so 30 seconds is up. Let's see what kind of comments we got in here. Uh, Max Lahota, thanks a lot, buddy, for tuning in, man. If you don't mind, just subscribe. You can help me out a lot. Uh, and we can help out the channel a lot, man. Thanks a lot. And Sam Sullivan. Um, let's see. Max, you didn't really answer my question, um, so I'm gonna have to. You're eliminated from the from the voting. Sam Sullivan, look at the guide in the collector's manual. <laughs> okay, the reason why I'm laughing is the collector's manual. This is an inside joke. Sam knows. Sam knows his Ratchet and Clank history. The collector's manual for this game, guys, runs at least. <laughs> The collector's manual for this game runs at least $45. U.S. dollars alone for the manual, for a stinking manual. These things are, it's only like 15 pages, because the game isn't long. It's probably maybe an eight-hour game. But there's a freaking collector's manual that's worth $45. That's what's so funny about that. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just Google it, man. Sam, thanks for the sense of humor, buddy. Definitely need that one today. <laughs> so let me check and see. Um... So we're on the Galaxy Blarg ship. Blarg ship. Ratchet and Clank. Usually what I do when I Google like a guide or something, I'll just type in the specific situation that I'm in. Because normally people will have these different... Um, the, the the same problem that I had with throughout the game. So usually if there's just the same problem... There is an auto hack program to assist you if necessary. I'm not using the auto hack uh, system, dumbass. Okay, so Blarg, uh, what is the name of this? This is a puzzle. The Trespasser, Planet Nebula G34. Okay, guys. So the website I'm using, I'm using guides dot. 
what do we got here? What do we got? Guides.gamepressure.com. Okay. So it looks like journey outside. Blah blah blah. I'm not finding it, guys. I'm gonna try to get this. I know this is gonna take a long time, guys. You guys want to see some gameplay? I realize that. So what I'm gonna do? I'll try to do it within the next like 10 seconds, if you don't mind. I'm sorry, guys. And you guys probably have better things to do than. Okay, so. You know what? I'm gonna use auto hack. I'm just gonna use auto hack, guys. I'm getting kind of sick of uh, just beating around the bush, so. Well, you see, I would lose. See, look at that. That's the risk I have right there, guys. If I use auto hack, this is what I risk doing. I'm going to read this out to you guys. Are you sure you want to use the auto hack program? You will not get any bolts awarded, and bolts being currency within the game, and you will not be able to get any trophies related to trespasser puzzles without starting a new game. So this is a lot of pressure right now. And and it's it's I don't know really. I really I'm kind of just having a hard time deciding what the hell I need to be doing. Um so I'm going to try, you guys might call me a sellout, but I'm going to try IGN.com. They're usually pretty uh, accurate. <coughs> I guess that would be the correct word, accurate, in their walkthroughs. So I think the walkthrough area, this would be a lot easier with IGN, personally. So let me... Let me first let me see uh where are we real quick? Let's see we are on Nebula G thirty four blog research center, so Nebula I mean what fun is this? You know G thirty four Blarg Nebula Trespasser. Okay, so I mean Okay, okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Hang on one second. Let me see here. It's tough. Oh my god. How do they expect you to do this? Let me try it again. Let's see. So it looks like according to this here, we'll do that. And we'll take this one. But you see, I'm not, I'm not. You know what? There it is. There it is, guys. Oh, man. There we did it. Okay. So let's move on. We got a little bit more gameplay. Uh, oh, the, the frogs. We're going to use the pixelator, guys. The pixelator is going to be your best option when you have multiple enemies like this. Look at how great that is. You can literally... You pixelate them. Oh, look at this guy. He has no idea. Oh! You dead. <laughs> you dead. <laughs> uh, it just... It's such a good feeling, guys. Being back. I know I've been kind of... Gone for a while, but... I mean, I'm not probably not going to be staying too long. Um, I'll probably just try to complete this level. And once I complete this level... I will probably hang the old hat up, hit the old dusty trail, as my my old buddy, uh, my buddies used to say. God, there's just it's so satisfying. Just look at that. You can literally just blow them to pieces. It doesn't get much better than that. Oh my God, another puzzle. Oh great. Let's see what's over here first. The very important thing, guys, about these open world games like this, or not open world platformers like this, you gotta search everywhere. You gotta search ev everywhere. I know it seems kind of tedious, seems like, oh, why do I have to search everywhere? You have to search everywhere. Uh, because if you don't, you're... Ah, uh, well, shit, I... 
I don't remember how to do this. I haven't played this in a while. It's circle. It's circle. <laughs> Look at that. I jump in. I'm like, it's like, uh, like a Steven Spielberg movie or something. Look at that. The pixel here. Whoa, what is this guy? What is all this? I know, I don't know. Chairman Drek has been growing his own army. Oh! Holy crap, what are these? These are big, like, T-Rexes, man. I'm telling you, this pixelator, dude, it's, it's great. It works great. It just literally, watch when you go up to these these enemies right here, and you use the pixelator. Bam. Look at that. They, they turn into these little pixelated little characters. The sound effect, it's just so neat. And you can blow them to hell. You can just blow them to hell and back. God, I just, it's... It, it just doesn't, it, it's just a great weapon in this game. Probably my favorite. One of my other favorite, if you guys check this out, this is called the Groovatron. And when you throw it at enemies, watch this, check it out. Check it out. Oh, that's the wrong weapon, sorry. I thought that was the... Sorry about that, guys. Okay. Here's the Groovatron. They'll start dancing. <laughs> dancing. It does, like, break dancing. Is that what it is? Freaking run DMC or something? Okay, I'm gonna kill this guy real quick. Hang me a second. Watch me speed run this, guys. Fucking storm! Fucking get the stormtroopers after me now. Yeah. Look at him freaking. They're doing like the. Look at the little dance moves the frogs are doing. <laughs> it's cool because it like it distracts them for a little bit. It's just really neat. It's a, it's a, the developers had a really good time in this game. You can tell that. And when the developers have a good time making a game, it usually makes a good game. That's why you have when games like Call of Duty they get kind of te. Ugh, damn it. That's why games like Call of Duty and stuff get a little tedious. Is I think the the employees over at Activision uh, and Treyarch. When they're playing these games and they're developing these games, there's not, they're not really putting any heart into that. They're really not. They're not doing anything that they probably enjoy doing. I mean, maybe they do to some extent, but pretty much what they're doing is uh, just meeting these deadlines. And honestly, that doesn't. When you're doing deadlines like that, it, they're not going to get a good game out of it. That's why I, my, I have high hopes for many games coming out soon. Uh, You know. I mean, Treyarch is... Look at that, just like a little backflip checks up. You know, a lot of people, I might, I might get flack. I might get a few rude comments on here about why, like, why are you playing a kid's game, Zach? You know, that's kind of a kitty game. But I don't care, it's just so much fun. I just have so much fun playing these games. I just the, the inner child in me makes me just feel good when I play this game. I'm like, what? <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, I'm getting fucked. Look at this guy, man. He's terrifying. My four-year-old cousin has this game. Does that dismiss it into being a... Uh, does it dismiss it from being a good game? I don't think so. Because it's a fun game. Have you ever played it? I don't think so. Stop judging something. Stop judging a book by its cover. Once you get into the gameplay, I think you'll be impressed by it. It's a lot more difficult than you think. <laughs> Obviously, you haven't... Obviously, it's rated E. That doesn't mean anything. Obviously, you've never played a platformer before because many platformers, although they may be like children's games, they might seem and be, uh, you know, 
targeting ch children audiences, child audiences, they're great games and they're hard games. For example, Super Mario 64, when you get into those different levels, the underground levels like that, when you get down to Wario's Cave, you're not going to be uh, having a good time with that one, buddy. So, how about you keep your mouth shut? And just the character development, guys. It's just so funny. Look at this guy. He's a big buff man. He's got a pistol, laser pistol. Hey, cookie crunch. Cookie crunch. And plus the music. The music's pretty cool. It's not too bad. Now, one thing... One of the complaints I have about these types of games... Is sometimes it's just so confusing and so annoying when you don't have any health and there's no health uh, boxes around to, to help you charge up your, your meters, you know. That's not really fun, you know, when you gotta do that kind of crap, you know what I'm saying? When you gotta do that kind of crap. So the pixelator, uh, do we have ammo for it? Looks like we have some more ammo for the pixelator, guys, so we're gonna use the pixelator here in a second. Alright, so we got these fucking big ass. If I, if I get hit once, I'm probably dead, guys. That's why I'm gonna avoid getting hit. This is where uh, all those. like it buddy let's see predator launcher ammo targeting cone ammo targeting cone lock speed that would be useful hmm the lock speed option would probably be the most logical one Let's let's get lock speed. How much money? I have seven thousand nut bolts, so we're gonna get that, and we'll get that. It'll cost me two crystals, but That's how you, make a great weapon, even you see what I'm saying, guys? <laughs> it's really fun. Have you guys ever played this game? That's it's a good game, guys. <laughs> Oh, it's a good game. Let's upgrade Mr. Zerg Don a little bit more. Let's see. We'll fire even faster. Uh, it comes loaded with even more shots. Well, let's upload him a little bit. He'll be a very useful person to have on your seam. Little robot that follows you around. Not Clank. Don't confuse him with Clank. So we're going to play about 15 more minutes, guys. Or just, let's you know what, let's just play till we beat the, this level. How about that? Just to give it a little, uh, give you guys a little taste for you folks that have never played this game. If you've never played the uh, Ratchet and Clank games, uh, this will give you a little idea as into what type of game this is, where you can buy it. You can probably go to GameStop. I got mine with my PlayStation Plus. Uh, which, if you're not familiar with PlayStation Plus, it's like a subscription service, and you get like free junk and stuff. They send you like ma game magazines and stuff in the mail, and it's really cool, guys. Okay, back here, and we got another freaking uh, puzzle. God damn it! I hate these puzzles. I'm not good at them at all. Look how difficult that is. What do they want you to do with this, huh? What do they expect you to do with these? I don't... I'm not really understanding how to do these, guys. Oh. Is that not it? Oh, it's the outer ring there. I did it. Look at that, guys. I didn't use a manual. I had that. I, hand to God. 
hand to God, guys. Hand on the Holy Bible. I didn't use any type of guide. I didn't use any type of strategy manual. I didn't do any of that. I solved that by myself with no assistance from anybody. Okay, we got a cutscene. Attention, intruder. You have entered the testing facility for a Blargian Snaggle Beast. Chairman Alonzo Drex thanks you for your sacrifice. Great. Uh, Captain, did you know Drek's secret project was a Blargian Snaggle Beast? Oh, and yes. I wonder why it wasn't in any of my intel. I was expecting something much less lethal. Okay, guys, give me one second. Just relax. Okay, give me one second. What did you teach me? Captain? <laughs> I hate to give you guys a cliffhanger, uh, but give me one second, I need to use the restroom. So just uh, kick back, relax, and just uh, give me one second, okay? Guys, I'm back. Give me one second, okay? Okay, give me one second. I need to test out the audio. Okay. Give me one second. Okay, so we're back. We're back, guys. I'm so sorry about that. I just had to adjust some settings in the uh, main menu. So if you don't mind, just give me one second. Look at this fucking idiot. This guy has no idea what he's doing. Pixelator. <laughs> See what I mean by the pixelator? It's a great weapon. Oh. Look at that. Leveled up the pixelator. That's what I'm talking about. Oh man, this guy is tough. He's a real tough ass. That's what he is. I can't even move. He's like taking up the whole character screen. Ouch. That one hurt. Look at that. If you guys have any tips on how to beat this guy? Give me, get, uh, please comment. Please, it's help. I have a feeling I'm gonna be here for a while. <laughs> nice menu. You know, I thought the menu was pretty neat too. Looks like there's a lot of options you could do on there. You can change the character skins. Oh, you can. Uh, looks like you can do some different cheat codes and stuff. Looks like a lot of fun. So we'll definitely have to delve into the menus here a little bit. I actually have a buddy, his name's Sam Sullivan. Uh, he actually uh, is really into like menus and stuff. Let's menu uh, play playthroughs. It, pretty much what he does is he just he, he shows off the menus of the games, and it's really neat how he does it. Uh, like we, he did one of uh, I think like Sonic or something like that. He did one of uh, uh, I think that Toy Story game for Sega Genesis, it, which really has a great menu, very underrated menu on it. So I mean, if you have time, check out, it's on the channel here. Use the rocket launcher. Uh, I don't think I've, I haven't unlocked the rocket launcher yet. Should I use Mr. Zirkin? I'll use Mr. Zirkin, and I'll use the predator launcher. Let's try that. What about that? That might work. Look at that. That might be the secret. Oh, that takes off a big... I think the secret as well is just kind of keep your distance. Uh, with, with bosses like that, you never really know what to expect. So, Wow. That really knocks off the, men the uh, life of them a little bit. Throw a little bit more. Two, three, four. Fully charged. Bam. 
I think if I keep doing that a few more times, I have a couple more bullets left in this rest round here. So if I keep doing that, I might uh, actually perform a little bit better. I might actually go walk away with this one with my life. <laughs> Figuratively speaking. Virtually speaking, guys. The game mechanics in this game are just... God. It just runs so smooth. Crisp 60 frames per second. I think the, the PlayStation it take, makes, takes up barely any space too on the hard drive. I have a one terabyte hard drive on my PlayStation 4, and it takes up barely any of that crap on there, so. It doesn't really take up a lot of space. Use a flamethrower too. Let's see what that looks. I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna be here a while, guys, so. Hey guys, sorry about that. <sighs> I had a little emergency. But everything's back to normal, guys. Sorry about the delay. We're back playing Ratchet and Clank here. I'm trying to beat this boss. I think this is Goldman Sin. Uh, I think that's his name. I'm going to be using the, by the flamethrower here, using this rocket launcher, and I'm going to be shooting him and uh, trying to beat him. If I beat him, I'll get the achievement. If I don't, I'm going to look like a total tool <laughs> being broadcasting this. <laughs> So we're gonna use a pixelator again. Once again, this is my favorite weapon in the game. It takes off quite a bit of uh, life, if you see. Look at that! Look at that! It takes off. It works great. I can even do the. Okay, so if I do that and I run, maybe use the pixelator a little bit more. He's just a real tough cookie to crack. <laughs> Whoa, did you see Wow! Did you guys see that? Wow! That was like a glitch or something. I got it. Wow! Wow, that was great! I'll tell you. Oh my god, hang on. Where'd he go? Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. I need to pull back out the. the uh... Okay, where's the predator? Where's the predator at? Oh boy. Oh god, guys, I'm in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Pull out a little robot buddy, he can help me out a little bit. Listen, this is me hitting hear the R2 button. I'm hitting. You hear that? That's me hitting the R2 button. It's good. It's the main trigger button on the PS4. So let's do this. Uh, we can use a couple of these. Uh, we'll use the proto drum. Decent weapon. Throw it. Oh, he's he always oh, pulling on the big guns now. Usually that means when you get closer though, when you when they start doing this stuff, when bosses start doing this kind of crap, that's when you're in uh, you're getting really close. Let me use the groupatron maybe, that might help out a little bit, I don't know. <laughs> He's doing the dancing. He's doing the dancing. Blow his ass up with these grenades. Blow your ass up with the grenade though. Blow your ass up with the grenade though. Look at him, look at him, back for his life. Look at him. <laughs> I don't think the flames do anything. Okay, I'm going to pull back out the Predator launcher. This one was working decently earlier, if you remember. I'm getting closer, guys. Look at that. Look at that light. Locking on. Predator launcher. Level 2. Level 2, guys. Here we go. This is getting... Oh my god. Look at the magma. Oh my god. 
Oh no! Oh no! Okay, one more time. Last time, guys. This is gonna be a tough one. I can't believe I fell on the pit. I fell on, I fell on the pit, the snake pit. At least it was a fire pit, I wasn't a snake pit. Later. The fix later worked great last time. <laughs> Maybe I should try the Groovatron one more time.
Should we try the Groovatron method one more time? Let's throw the Groovatron, make him dance. Yeah, do the, do the boogie. <laughs> hey, do the boogie. Get this, get those fusion grenades out, throw them with these grenades a few times. Look at that health going down, guys. He's at 10%, 10%, 10%. Guys, I'm getting close, getting close. Got a little bit more. Is that for the group? Oh, dude, that was for the pixel. Pixel boy. Pixel time. Oh, he's fucked. You're fucked dead. And you are dead. Yeah! It's tough guys, we pulled through. 46 minutes. Oh yeah. I yield! I yield! Not bad. Got a little intense there for a second, but. Tell us what you have. Hang on. Tell us what you know about Drex plan. Whoa. Thanks. Yeah, what did he say? It's a good game, guys. One, Don't dismiss, once again, back to what we were talking about earlier. Just because it's a child's game, children's game. Greetings, blog Don't dis cells. don't dismiss it as a good robot, game. You've been so Anyone get back! Though initial testing had a few small sets. You gotta get me one of those. All of the now you can use your XK81 jetpack to traverse the sky. Giving you an advantage over those morons on the ground. Wow, well, we'll be. Come pick yours up at our base on Gaspar. Dr. Nefarious is not responsible for death, dismemberment, or irreparable injury to your central nervous system. <laughs> Captain, Good. it's Ratchet. We just defeated the Snaggle Beast and found out what Drek is up to. Snaggle Beast? You did? But that's impressive. Ooh, he thought, I thought he was going to say impossible for a second. But it wasn't impossible. We put our mind to it, and we did it, guys. Let's check out this map. Man, that music's good. Good music. Okay. I'm heading this way. Moving on. I like to hit the barrels and the boxes just to. Oh! Nice. Hit the barrels and the boxes because you can get some extra stuff that way. And never miss anything in video games, guys. Big tip there. Never miss anything. Always search every crevice, every corner, and every video game. <laughs> Come this way. Let me see here. Zoom out. Da, 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 da. What is over here? That must be the area that we didn't unlock yet. So, turn to the section hub. Huh? Hey, I bet the Rangers could use jetpacks. Should we head to Gaspar and see if we can get some? Hmm, that'd be fun. Definitely gonna have to broadcast that, guys. <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to be wrapping it up here in a second, guys. Well, I might... Let me see. What's the... Journey outside. We'll, we'll, get, out, we'll get off of Nebula G34 first. Oh, wow. I get to use Clank. Cool. Now, this is a big step here, guys. I haven't really got a chance to utilize the little robot guy yet, so... But we will now. Bam! He's a little robot, man. <laughs> he's a little robot. <laughs> he's a little robot. Okay, he, he's a little robot boy. And see, so he can. He he doesn't need oxygen. That's another reason we're doing this. <laughs> see, Ratchet's a uh, mammal, and mammals need oxygen to breathe. But Clank is a robot, and robots do not need oxygen to breathe. Oh yeah, this is cool because you can. It's like little puzzles. You throw it that way, and you can jump up on it. Trampoline, boogie. What is that? 
Oh, that is some kind of. <laughs> How fortuitous! It is a gadget bot upgrade chip. Clink is definitely one of my favorite characters in the Ratchet and Clink series. My upgrade should allow me to reprogram these gadget bots. How you doing out there, Clink? I just picked up a new gadget. <laughs> oh man, what'd you get? You know you have to share whatever you found. Mm -hmm. I think I will save these for me. Thank you. But there is still a prototype device nearby. I will collect it for you. Oh, I will fine. collect it for you. He's just such a great character. I mean, come on. You can quickly change gadget butts. What is it? Oh, I see, I see. So, we've got this one. Wow. Okay, so I guess I have to... Oh, he's the electricity boy. Which you did that way. And then we got the boxes here. Smash these. Ooh. Very cool. He's like a little ball. Oh, that's neat. He's a little bridge. That's just so innovative. The gameplay, the, the level design, oh my gosh. Smoking on the kush. Dude, we were totally smoking on that kush earlier. I will oh. find another gadget <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> oh, it threw him off the edge a little bit, huh? not to love about that character. Give me one reason. Give me one give me one thing that's not lovable of this little guy. He's a robot, for God's sakes. Look at him. Look at this character model. Great graphics. It is a gadget butt. Okay, got the bridge back there. Aha! What did, how did I do that? Where was I? Okay, got your butt this way. Okay. Hmm. My upgrade should allow me to reprogram these gadget bots. Aha, uh -huh, there you go. <laughs> Quite the puzzle. Quite the puzzle. Not really. Well. Aha, uh -huh, I see. So I have to get him. <clears throat> Turn him into a trampoline. Bounce. Grab this idiot. Take him. Come over this way. Do electricity boy. Right there. Then we'll grab this guy. Oh wow, yeah, this is pretty pretty complex here. There's that. And I can't take him up because he is powering that door, so... Hmm. Ooh, yucks. Okay. I need another gadget bot. It 
appears I can restore power to that door from either side. Okay, I see. There you go. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Take him over this way. And take him, throw him that. There it is. We did it. Complete. Mission complete. Ah, there they are. Oh. New pair of sneaks. Come in, Ratchet. I just located a pair of Magna boots. Returning to your position now. Awesome. I always wanted a pair of Magna boots. Good work, pal. See you in a bit. <laughs> Look at that level design. Flying pieces of shit into the air. Look at this right here. Check it out. Turn them to Ratchet. <laughs> okay. Like I said earlier, guys, make sure you look at every corner of the map, every level. Because if you're not, what are you doing? <laughs> So we have officially completed this level. We have completed Nebula G34. So, I think we're done. I think we're done for today. We actually achieved quite a bit. Quite a difference between today and uh, yesterday, guys. I mean, not yesterday, the last, uh, 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 well, it was, it was, it was a few days ago. But, I mean, quite a difference. I was getting my butt handed to me on Metal Gear Solid 5. But this one, we beat. So, that's all for today, guys. Thanks for tuning in. We're going to be playing this. Let's go ahead. I, wanted, I want you guys to see the jetpacks. <laughs> so I will be broadcasting this one later on. Uh, maybe tomorrow. Maybe the day after. Who knows. But that concludes our session tonight and I will see you guys on the other side of uh I'll just see you guys later how about that <laughs> so have a good night uh, enjoy your evening and uh and uh you know peace peace out guys <laughs>